It's your boy Chef Fellow back with another banging video. Man, we're gonna get these crappies and these these bluegills, these bass cooked. So I ran out of gas in my propane tank, but I'm still gonna hit them with the small deep fryer. So what I got right here, I got basses and I got my meal. Alright? We're gonna take these basses, we're gonna lay them out. Lay them out. These bass fillet. I'm gonna lay them out. Alright. I'm gonna go with a little season, just a little. A little season on top. Alright. Flip them over. Bam. Bam. Go a little season on top. On the back. Alright. So, I'm gonna take it right over to the cornmeal. I'm gonna roll it. This is how I check my grease good for me. So, I'm going to flip it again. Got plenty crappies, bass, bluegill in. Okay? I like mine's whole, but I fillet the bass for the kids. Drop them in there. Come around here so they can see. I'm going to drop them boys in there. Got two going in. My grease is up. Should be. Gonna let them talk. All right. So, well, check this out. We got basses. We got crappies. I like my crappies whole. All right. That's the way your boy do. And look, you guys about to experience some stuff. I'm gonna eat one of these heads for you guys because I like them too. All right. I'll be right back in a minute. So, as y'all see, I don't have my hat on today. I don't have my apron on today. Today, I don't do Alright? So, I'm out here getting it. Alright? Anytime you see your fish, you're ready. Float up to the top of the goose. That means it's about ready. And most of the time, it is ready. So, as you guys see, I got more basses right here. And I have crappies. Right here. Down south, we, sometimes with fish, we eat it with mustard or hot sauce. Some people eat their fish with ketchup. I don't like that. You do what you want to do. So, let's take these out. We're going to let them sit here and drain for a second. Let them drain. And then we're going to add these to it. See that fish? That's all you want. And basses, baby. Gotta love it. So what we're gonna do, take our pan over here, bass fillet, take the excess corn off, drop it like it's hot, baby, and let it sit there. Meantime, I'm gonna keep this covered. I always wanna keep the stuff covered, okay? And we're gonna let that cook for a second. I'm going to cover this up and we'll be right back. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to add my crappies whole. I like them whole. I'm going to add these crappies whole. I ain't got one bass left to go in there. I like these too. Potato chip. But as you can see, I don't have all the fins on there because certain fins I don't, I don't like. So you want to make sure you get your season all the way in there. You want it all the way in there. That's what I do. Okay? I'm gonna take that, keep this covered. Alright. Get that covered back up. Wipe my hands. Because we're gonna put more fish up there. So we're gonna take what we're gonna do. Take it some basses. Gonna lay them right there. I was gonna take the skin off of that one. I thought about it. I like the skin, so we're gonna go with that. We're gonna sprinkle a little season on top. Same thing on the back. Flip it over. Put a little season on them on the back. All right. Okay. We're gonna cover this up. Cover it up real good. 
Let it sit there for a second. We're going to cover this up. Everything you want to keep covered up, especially outside. In the summertime, you're frying fish. They got flies, they got bugs because they smell the fish. We got bass fillets over here. Getting nicely done in the fryer. We're going to just let that cook. And we'll be right back with you in a minute. As you see, good old white meat. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Good. Mmm. -hmm. Man, you make yourself some good old potato salad or some coleslaw, yellow eggs, some fried spaghetti. I ain't talking about regular spaghetti. Where I'm from, we make fried spaghetti or baked spaghetti with our fish. I want you guys to hold tight. So I, want to, I want you guys to actually see these crappies get done hold, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Now, we're going to take these basses off. Look at them basses now. Let that drain for a second. Oh, man. Good old. Look at that. Like that. Roll that over. Nice and crispy. We don't like it. Boom foil in the house. Can't go to it. Gotta keep rolling. So we got more fish going on. These are the crappies hole going on. Gonna lay one that way. I'm gonna lay one this way. And what I'm gonna do is ease it down in the grease. Just let them fry. Let's, let's see the outcome of it when we come back. Now, you guys, we're going to take our bass and we're going to take our crappies. These are crappies. Crappies hold. Check this out. Look at that crappie. See the grease? I'm going to let that sit there for a second. Got another whole crappie. Look at that. Run out the grease, buddy. So we're going to keep this covered up. We got crappies on one side, bass on the other side. Now, we're going for some, some more bass. Check this out. Put some more basses in there. Those are big fillets, man. I like the skin, because it's got that little crunchy taste to it. Man, sometimes I eat it with the skin on, skin on. Never fits your boat. But, uh, leave the skin on these. Let them drop like that. Take my lid, put my lid over it, and then over here, we got some more bass prepped up, ready to go. Lay them in there like that. I like a little heat, fresh red pepper, just like that. I'll make sure you get everything covered. Everything covered. All right, just like that. I wipe my hands. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that covered up. Then we're gonna take us some crappies. There's some crappies here. Another filet. On the bass for life. Saving the heads for later, y'all. I might fry those next. Okay. Back our season. I mix my season up. I always have. Because I want the full flavor. I'm going to roll them over just like this. Sometimes when I deal with like fish or chicken, I use gloves and stuff like that. Then what we're going to do keep these covered up keep these covered up and I'll show you guys how my bass come out when I get back you guys don't know this got a lot of meat in it so yep I'm going to season the heads now my grandparents they made uh, catfish head soup before so I'm going to take my bass heads I eat, I eat these every blue moon. 
I'm doing them today just to show you guys. And nothing wrong with the heads. You need the heads too. All this meat in the inside. I don't eat the eyes. If you guys want to know that, I don't eat the eyes. Normally I cut them down and I just, this is number me. Okay? Depends on what kind of head. Catfish head. Catfish have a lot of, have a lot of uh, meat in their head too. Catfish. I'm going to sanitize the water. So, you know, a lot of people eat. No, I don't, I don't. A lot of people, heads, I don't even see heads being the worst thing. I think when people eat brains and pig brains and all type of stuff, because people eat other brains. I don't do that. I like the heads, though. Don't get me wrong. So, they going down in the fryer next. We'll be right back. Now we're back. We're going to take, we're gonna take these basses off of here. Because now we're going with the heads, baby. And the heads are the best part. Why not to you guys? I love it here. It's a southern thing. Lay bass. Now, we we'll get that cover up. Let's get that back cover up. You know? We got two boys in there. Love fish. Love fish. Now we're going with the heads. Yeah, we'll get this off. So that go my two heads, you guys. See this? Y'all gonna watch me eat it. I'll show you guys. Put my head down like that. Going in. See the heads? Going in, baby. Put this on top. And you guys stick around. You'll see how the heads turn out. Now, you guys, I'll let, sit there let my heads drain off. Okay. About to get ready to wrap everything up. Man, I've been busy as you guys know. I'm dropping videos every other day. Every day, two videos a day. But I do it for you guys, so that's what I'm doing. Putting my heads in here. Y'all see my heads? Alright. I'm gonna drop some down. Then I want I want you guys. Put some down. Got two crappies. Put my crappies down. Alright. Open it up. Okay. Got my crappies. Alright. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to lay one this way. I'm gonna lay one up. Top is going down. Alright. So as those crappies sit there and cook, I'm gonna cover this up. And I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna sanitize it. Always, if you're gonna cook outside, you can't get your sink. Use some sanitizer water, sanitizer. You gotta keep your area clean. Alright? Got my hot sauce. Yeah, I know what you guys think. Ew. I grew up on this. Ah. This is what I love. I'm a southern boy. I wouldn't change it for the world. So, these here, they were like a potato chip to me. Remind me of home. I was raised on a pig farm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's how you eat a fish with no bone. bone. You gotta pick them out, baby. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my bass heads. I want to say, you got mustard on me, y'all. I have mustard everywhere. You know, mustard gets everywhere. I want to say thanks for watching my videos today. I think I loaded two. Thanks for following me. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for liking, liking what I do. 
but it's giving me bad comments too. I like it too. So I want to say thanks to you guys. If you like my video, I always go to my TikTok or my YouTube page. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I always hit that notification bell, okay? This is your boy, Chef Velo, and I appreciate you guys for following me. And I'm out.